Okay, I said I was done playing clips, but I want to hear this one too. Sorry. All right, the thing you are listening for here from today at the Supreme Court is the audience gasping at something that Justice Elena Kagan says. Listen for the audience reaction here. Listen. When you look at Congress doing something that is unusual, that deviates from the way they've, 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 they've done, proceeded in the past, you have to ask, well, was there a good reason? And in a sense, you have to understand that in 1996, something's happening that is, in a sense, forcing Congress to choose between its historic practice of deferring to the states and its historic practice of preferring uniformity. Well, is what happened in 1996, and I'm, I'm going to quote from the House report here, is that Congress decided to reflect and honor a collective moral judgment and to express moral disapproval of homosexuality. What happened in 1996? Does the House report say that? Of course the House report says that. And if that's enough to invalidate the statute, then you should invalidate the statute. But that's never been your approach. You could hear the audience react today, gasping, incredulous, sort of, wow, at the way that Congress thought way back when in the 90s. Amazing stuff. Joining us now is Mary Bonato, whose legal work over the past 13 years revolutionized gay capital R rights in this country. In Vermont, her legal work was the catalyst for creating civil unions. In Massachusetts, she won the case that caused the state to legalize same-sex marriage, the first state to do so. And then last year, she helped persuade a federal appeals court that DOMA was unconstitutional, which led to today's amazing hearing at the court. Mary Bonato is the Civil Rights Project Director for Gay and Lesbian Advocates and Defenders. Uh, Mary Bonato, congratulations on your big day. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, I know that you were at the courtroom uh, today. You saw the oral arguments. How do you feel about how everything went today? It was an excellent day. <laughs> uh, it was an excellent day because we finally had our day in court. You know, we have a, as you've heard, a uniform rule in this country of taking state marriage law as we find it, but the rules were changed when it looked like same-sex couples would marry, and the issues today were very clear. Why are we treating only married same-sex couples differently from all other married couples? And and as the clips you showed revealed, there wasn't much of an answer. You have been such an important strategist in this legal fight. I mean, right up to winning the First Circuit case that led to today at the Supreme Court. When you look at all the work done over the last decade toward today, what do you think was the most important preparation to make the strongest case today? You know, I answer that on two levels because I actually think when couples started legally marrying in Massachusetts and it was just 10 years ago this month that we argued that case in Massachusetts and then in May of 04 that couples started marrying it changed everything when people could see with their own eyes what it looked like when same-sex couples committed and married happy it was joyous and people understood that it's about love it's about commitment it's about being there for each other for the long haul and that we actually all share a lot of values and so that's changed the conversation and then more and more as more states have um, decided through court decisions or legislators or even at the ballot that it's a good policy and it's the right constitutional thing for same-sex couples to marry so there's that and then with DOMA obviously working so hard uh, for couples to marry and then defending that victory in Massachusetts it was extremely important to people to have their marriages be marriages, but they found out immediately they were in second-class marriages and that our national government was saying that their marriages didn't count. They were actually wiped out for all federal purposes, all 1,100 of them. And this was a day that needed to happen, happen because being treated equally under law is clearly about principles and so on, but being treated unequally really scars your soul. And it makes a real practical difference in people's lives and the protections they do or don't have. So today was a day long in coming because there are many couples who really just need their government to treat them fairly and equally and like other married couples. A lot of people have been made foolish by predicting what will happen in important cases based on the oral arguments that day. A lot of people in cable news in particular, so I try to avoid that as much as I can. But if, hypothetically, uh -huh. if the court strikes down DOMA in the way that sort of legally they are most likely to strike down DOMA based on the way this case was presented to them. What would happen next? What would be the practical consequences of a ruling like that if that's what they decided come June? The clearest practical consequence is that same-sex couples who are legally married in their state will now be treated like other married couples in their state, whether it means they pay more in taxes or they pay less, but they are married and they come to the federal government as married people and plug into that social safety net and all those protections and abilities 
that come along with it. That's the clearest consequence. No effect on the laws of other states. So states this, where you can't currently get married correct. if you're a same-sex couple, this wouldn't. That's this correct. a ruling in this particular case wouldn't have any impact on that. Yes, this is about the unusual, unprecedented rule that Congress made in 1996 to say we're not going to follow our usual pattern of just, you know, adopting whatever the states say. We're going to actually create a rule to exclude married same-sex couples from any federal protections. Mary Bonanno, uh, Civil Rights Project Director for Gay and Lesbian Advocates and Defenders. Um, this has been your fight and your strategy uh, for more than a decade. And everybody who knows stuff about this legally knows that, knows that you are at the helm of it, have been at the helm of it in so many different ways. I think a lot of people just cluing into this politically may be meeting you for the first time. Uh, and we really appreciate you being here with us to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right. Lots